This camp is that right? Uh, yes. How, how do you how do you like that versus Nicole, and how do you kind of see yourself fit into the? Um, team? I played the majority of the season last year at safety, so I'm pretty comfortable at it, and I'll get some nickel reps uh, every once in a while. So. Um, like I said before, like just knowing the whole defense, knowing all three safe positions, the free, the strong, the nickel spot, um, showing that I'm playable, knowing the calls, um, comfortable at either spot is just, um, I feel like it's a good thing. So definitely able to take advantage of that. What's that competition like among that group? I say um, it's a really good competition. You know, we compete with each other every day. Um, I say we definitely have a lot of depth, more depth than last year. A lot of guys that can play. So it's definitely been exciting. Lincoln highlighted Zion's play in the scrimmage. Mm -hmm. What's he showing you? Uh, Zion's definitely improved a lot, especially in the scrimmage. You know, um, uh, practice consistently, and then the scrimmage just bought out. So definitely surprised a lot of people in um, the way he's been playing. So definitely look good. Excited for him. If you could give the defense a letter grade right now at this point in camp, what letter grade would you give it and why? A defensive letter grade? I would say the defense definitely improved. If you like look back to how we performed last year, the first scrimmage to this year in the first scrimmage, it was a vastly improved, vastly improvement. So I give the defense probably a probably like a B plus, you know, because there's still some room to improve. You know, we wasn't perfect, but there's still room to improve, and we did show a lot of good things. You know, guys doing their responsibilities, guys making a lot of plays. So. Um, Excited for the defense. Building off that, what's the area you think the defense is going to be better in this year than last year? Do you have a complaint? Um, definitely the run defense. The D line is just, D line up there is just ferocious, you know, um, getting back there to the quarterback, especially in um, pass plays, how they get back there, you know, like guys like um, Anthony Lucas, Jamil, um, Bear, who's been practicing recently. Um, D line looks monster, I gotta say that. Is there one guy who's really stepped up during camp or surprised you? Do you think he's going to have a breakout fall? Um, I say the improvement of Tiger Curtis um, from spring ball to uh, fall cap, you know, because he's definitely more comfortable now. Um, he knows his play calls. He's just not out there, you know, playing football like he was at spring ball. You know, he's out there doing his responsibilities, he's out there playing fast, and he's been making a lot of plays in fall camp. So. He thinks you're the healthiest you can how, how does that help your confidence in the way you are practicing? I say it improves my confidence a lot, you know, because if you're dealing with something that's lingering, like I say last year during this time during fall camp, I was coming back from a, a sports hernia, yeah, groin, groin injury. So um, now I don't, I have nothing wrong with me. You know, I get like a little soreness every now and then, of course, because camp like day 10, but I have nothing wrong. I don't have to be living in the training room, rehabbing for something. Didn't have to get surgery this off season. So um, it improves my confidence just knowing that I could be out there playing fast, not worrying about anything. Nothing's lingering or bothering me. So um, oh, definitely good. a great thing. I got to keep it that way. Do you feel like you, can, you have like something to prove? This is like you're finally healthy. You can play up to the standard to... that you, you want? <laughs> um, I wouldn't more so say it's not anything to prove. Um, just more so prove to myself like how good of a player I could be, you know. Um, you never want to be satisfied with where you're at. You always want to continue to grow no matter what you're doing. So um, definitely room for improvement. And I look, I'm look, i excited to build on what I did last year. Can you talk about Mason's strengths as a leader and just mm -hmm. kind of how he's been able to make so much progress as a leader so quickly? Um, I say he's a really smart guy on the field, you know. Um, Usually the safety's making a call, but there'll be instances he look back at me and uh, he'll give me the call, you know, even though I'm the one giving all the calls. Um, and then he just plays really fast, you know. There's no, like, hesitation to his game. Um, if he see, sees a ball carrier, he sees a quarterback looking somewhere, he's there, 0 to 100. So, um, and he's just a really talkative dude, like, in a good way, you know, a uh, really good leader. So, I'm um, excited to watch him this year. Didn't you talk about how you went back and watched all the practices from last year to see maybe if you could find areas that were lacking? Was there anything he pointed out to you guys that we got to do this differently in practice? Any changes he made? Um, I would say just. Um, we like he brought the leaders up and we watched like some scout periods from practice last year like probably towards the end of the season how you know it's a day one day one install call that we got wrong in week 10 of the season like that can't happen no more so just focus on little things like that you know um controlling we, we can control you know guys doing their right job guys being in the right, right spot, you know, not having any mental errors, mental busts. I feel like we've done a really good job at that, so. When was, when was that film session? How many guys were involved in it? Film session was probably two, three weeks before camp, you know. Um, good amount of defensive guys involved in it.
What did kind of that show you in terms of where the unit was going to be heading this season, and, and what kind of you know, like you said, mental improvements needed to be needed to be made? Um, I say it definitely. The defense has like a clear clear mind when it comes to goals. You know, we, we know what we want to do. We know what we want to prove. You know, um, we know what we have to do. And I feel like this camp we've been um, we've been playing really well. We want to keep improving, but um, yeah, I mean. We've been playing good this camp, so just good, gotta keep improving. When you say we know what we want to prove, is that kind of tied to sort of what you felt like the performance was last season and kind of the, the, the tension around that in some way? Um, I wouldn't more so say to the outside noise, more so as a proof to ourselves, you know, to the team. Like, you know, the defense, go, it's not just all about the offense. Like, we want to be known for our defense as well. So just proving it to ourselves day in and day out. Is there the same emphasis on turnovers and that being the hallmark of this defense? We definitely emphasize the turnovers, yes. Um, you know, when you're out on defense, you want to get uh, turnovers, of course, get off the field. But um, more of a focus is put on, like, uh, communication, you know, guys in the right spot, doing the right thing, you know. And um, because if you do that, then the turnover, turnovers will come, you know, having the eye, having your eyes in the right position, using the right technique the coaches give you. And you do all those things, the turnovers will come to you, you know. So. Grinch was talking about focusing on the fourth quarter and making sure you guys are strong. Um, just finish the practice strong, you know, um, being consistent throughout the whole practice, you know, even if it's a long, you know, like three hour practice or something, you don't want to let your foot off the gas, let your foot off the pedal, come to the end of practice, you know, guys may be tired, but that's what the fourth quarter, you know, feels like or overtime period if we get to one, you know, just being able to finish strong and um, we were definitely, definitely disappointed with how we finished games last year. Because we would play well during during the first three quarters, you know, and then fourth quarter come, we wouldn't we wouldn't do so well. So that's only been a main vocal point, just finish it, finish it, finish it. How much of that was the depth issues last year, just being a thin defense? I wouldn't say it was depth issues. It was probably more so mind issues, like um, like guys probably thinking about what to do after the game or when the game's going to be over, you know, and not really focus on the task at hand. And that's something we put an emphasis on during camp, you know, during spring ball, you know, the longer it goes, the better we get with coach uh, Raleigh preaches, with the team preaches, so, yeah. Do you feel like you guys have been doing that? Oh, uh, yes, most definitely. Uh, you know, we've been having long prices. The prize been finishing strong. They're competitive the whole way through, you know. Um, we don't take our foot off the gas, so I definitely think we have been doing that.